Hey guys, another quickie video. I want to introduce you to a new relay board that Centroid's come up with. Um, it's my understanding it'll be shipping with all new Centroid Acorn uh, boards. And I would imagine you can purchase it separately if you already have an Acorn and you want this relay board. It's highly recommended that you use a relay board with these dry contact outputs when you're connecting variable frequency drives to Acorn. It's very simple. There are eight relays on here. Um, so uh, anyway, um, and these are uh, rated for 10 amps at 250 volts, 10 amps at 125 volts, 10 amps at 30 volts, and 10 amps at 28 volts DC. So um, it comes with this the little uh, header that goes on to the Acorn outputs, three through eight, and then this little pigtail goes to a five volt power supply. Now, uh, most Acorns are shipping with a combination dual output power supply that has 24 volts for Acorn and five volts for um, drives or things like this because these are five volt coils so uh, let me show you how to hook this up super simple um, let me zoom you in and see if we can uh, uh, demonstrate it all right here we have an acorn board it's powered off here's its outputs these are three through eight right here and um, these pins that, that engage Acorn's output header, this connector goes up, not down like this. It goes up. Make sure you orient it right. Loosen all the terminals on Acorn and then tighten down the, all, of the, all the uh, terminals on this particular header. The last thing to do is hook up our red lead to a five volt power supply. And the power supply that comes with Acorn has two outputs and uh, V1, V1 is the five volt and then V2 is 24 volts. You don't want to hook this up to 24 volts, you want to hook it up to V1, five volts. And on the side of the meanwhile power supply, it tells you which one's which. V1 equals five volts. V2 equals 24 volts, so I'm going to hook it up to V1. Okay. Now I want you to be able to see this, so I'm just going to set it up here on this handy dandy box. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fire output three. There's three. Output four. Output five. Output six. Now output seven will fire output two as well. So here's seven, there's two. So these two are paired together. Seven and two and eight and one are paired together. So you can, uh, if you fire output seven, it'll turn on relay two. So if you have a router, you can fire the router motor and fire a dust collector, that's just an example. And then here's output eight. And again, it fires relay one. So three through eight will fire these relays. One and two are still the onboard relays on Acorn. It's a cool little relay board. It provides dry contact outputs just like Relay 1 and Relay 2 on Acorn, and I think this is the best way to go. Thanks. Talk to you soon.